it's time to get Moroccan the Dutch way. We're making lemon couscous and spiced chicken tagine without the tagine. Even without the exact cookware or some of the traditional ingredients, we can get a taste of Morocco right at home. So, a tagine, like this one, or like this one, is traditionally used to make this dish. This is a small version of it. You only need a small amount of liquid, and as it cooks, the liquid will condense at the top and kind of filter its way back down where the flavors and the aromatics really kind of stew within itself. But in case you don't have one of these, we can use a Dutch oven or even a large saucepan and still achieve the same results. So first, we're gonna heat the oil on a medium high heat, and now we're gonna add the chicken thighs and cook them until they're brown. Yeah, you hear that sizzle, right? We're gonna keep these going and we're gonna keep flipping them until they're browned on both sides. So these look just about done. So now we're gonna stir in the remaining ingredients. We're gonna add our garlic, we're gonna add our McCormick cumin, some turmeric, and some cinnamon, which will really, really accent and blend well with the carrots. Now, let's add the veggies. Carrots, onions, chickpeas, drained and rinsed, diced tomatoes, undrained. We really want that liquid in there so we can use that tagine style cooking to get that moisture. Some green olives, and now, a nice way to get some salt to really enhance the overall flavor of the dish is to add the brine from the olives. So we'll just add a little bit of that. There we go. And now we're gonna give it a really quick stir to get that all together. You have that sweetness of the tomatoes cutting through and then that cinnamon, the turmeric coming up. So now, we're gonna reduce this heat to medium low, cover it up, and let it simmer. The zesty flavor of this traditional Moroccan couscous is super easy to make and full of flavor that pairs really nicely with the spice of the chicken tagine. So we're gonna melt our butter, and now we're gonna add our onion. We're gonna let the onion sweat a little bit, really get that moisture out. And now, here's the trick. Fresh lemon zest is the key to this dish. So, if you don't have a zester, you can use a cheese grater. Get that really good zest in there. You see that? Yeah. And if you want, just give it a quick smell. It's so fresh, that citrus flavor is overwhelming, and we're gonna just add that to our onions and the butter that's already in there. Now, we're gonna slice our lemon in half, along the equator, like this, so they're easier to squeeze and juice. Now, we're gonna add our McCormick bay leaves, three bay leaves, not two, not four. No, it doesn't matter, it's three bay leaves, it's fine. Now, the bay leaves are gonna rehydrate and put out these really earthy flavors into the couscous, which is exactly what we want. We're going to let that cook for like 30 seconds. We're gonna add our water and just a bit of our McCormick salt. So couscous is just small cut semolina. Now, because it's small cut, it's gonna absorb those flavors really, really fast. So we have to make sure that once we put it in, we take it off the heat right away. Yeah, that looks beautiful. And we're gonna stir it. But immediately, we're gonna take it off the heat so the water's not boiling anymore. We're gonna throw our cap on. We're gonna put this just aside. Okay, so now we have our spiced chicken tagine ready and our couscous, right? So now once the water's absorbed, the couscous is ready. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some lemon juice to really punch that citrus flavor just a little bit more. And now we're gonna take our fork and fluff the couscous. We're gonna just get a little bit of air in there so it's not super packed. The lemon zest we added while the couscous was cooking adds a deep, rich lemon flavor, while the juice adds some acidity that balances out the floral flavor of the bay leaves. Go, let's make a beautiful plate. I know this sounds super cosmetic, but this color, oh, incredible. Now we're gonna add the spiced chicken tagine. Oh my God, the smell coming from the spiced chicken is just incredible. So we're gonna just grab some of that. One nice little big piece here. We're gonna add some veggies on top of it right there. Yeah, you know what? Let's get some carrots. We're just gonna make this a really pretty plate. Garnish with some lemon wedges, some almonds to get that really nutty crunchiness right there. And wow, it looks incredible and it tastes incredible. The carrots with the cinnamon, so many rich and deep flavors in one dish. And you don't need to buy a huge tagine. You have a Dutch oven, hot, you're good to go.